And what that does is that exposes your hose adapter here. So it's just two 17 millimeter wrenches on the Mares line here. Put one on the hose adapter, one on the hose itself. You can very easily take the hose out. You can change it to a long hose or a shorter hose if you need to. Or if you want to customize out for a different colored hose, you can do that as well. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Click this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now I'm in here in our workroom and I was actually going over some of the comments on some of our recent videos. And I got one here from a George Vargas here and he asked, can you please make a video explaining how to change the Mares adjustable uh, hose or the Mares ultra adjustable hose and I've actually already responded to him told him I'd be happy to make a video for him and that's exactly what we're going to do today because I've got several different models here the one he's asking about specifically is the ultra adjustable second stage from Mares now this happens to be the alternate version or the octo but it still has the twin power system and I think what he's asking is is can I make a video on how to change this hose out when you got a twin power system and the twin power system is not something really new uh, before the ultra adjust come out of course they had the epic which was the 82 model uh, first stage but it too had the twin power system and even before that we had the fusion twin power system as well and that come on a 52x first stage so yeah I can very easily show you, George, how to change this out. It's a really simple process, and you can add long hoses, short hoses. You can make colored hoses. Whatever you want to put on here, you can put on here. What I'll do today in this video is I'm going to show you how easy it is to take this housing of the twin power off, how easy it is to swap out a hose, and then once again, how easy it is to replace that housing. So with that being said, let's jump into it. But if we take an in-depth, closer look at the twin power system here, you will notice that there's a little tiny Allen head screw there. And all you've got to do is just simply get you an Allen head that fits that screw and you're going to line it up and simply start backing out that Allen head. And it's not spring loaded, but what I will tell you is when you take enough of these out, you'll learn that they do kind of go flying. So you want to be very careful. One of the reasons that we use these rubber mats here is it kind of catches parts and stuff as we're taking them apart. But you just want to get it backed out. So once you get it started, it should come right out. And there, I don't know if you can see it on camera. That's that little Allen head screw that you pulled out there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn the twin power system to the left. It's going to click into the that position. And then once it does, this outer casing will start to slowly unscrew. And what that does is that exposes your hose adapter here. So it's just two 17 millimeter wrenches on the Mares line here. Put one on the hose adapter, one on the hose itself. You can very easily take the hose out. You can change it to a long hose or a shorter hose if you need to. Or if you want to customize out for a different colored hose, you can do that as well. Once you have it off, you're going to replace this sheath or this housing onto the new hose just prior to hooking it up to the second stage. And then once you have your two connected again, your hose to the second stage, all you're going to do is line up the sheath or the housing here and you're going to screw it back down into position now you don't have to go super tight with it all you've got to do is line up and there's a little notch here a little line on the twin power sheath here to tell you when it's lined up properly with that hole then you simply take your allen head screw get it started back on and then you're simply just going to screw it back into position being very careful now, of course, not to get it cross-threaded. Once it gets started, you can turn your Allen head and screw it down into position. Like so. And I like to screw mine just to its inset there. You'll feel it. It'll kind of stop into position there. Just like that. And then you can test it, make sure the system still rotates, and everything's good to go. 
But that's it. That's how easy it is to change out a hose on a Marez rig system with the twin power system on it. So there you go, George. It was a very simple process. All you got to do is just take out that little Allen screw, unscrew your twin power housing there, and then you can get access to the hose adapter with two 17 millimeter inches, replace your hose, put your adapter back on or put your uh, housing back on, put that little uh, Allen screw back in and you're good to go. I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. Guys, if you've got any questions on something like this, please drop it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.